their school once, uh, and uh, my dad was uh, aware that I wanted desperately to get into uh, writing uh, television, and uh, as he immediately pitched his idea for, a, or the, the idea he was working on, which for an interview, I'm trying to get this right, Dad, so he shouts out I'm getting it wrong, um, which was based on a thing called the Norbridge Files, which was about, which he uh, had the kids running their own newspaper in an imaginary town, and, he, uh, and uh, my dad said to the producer of Highway, um, that would be a great idea for a, a, a children's television series, and uh, the producer of Highway agreed, and almost immediately, two years later, uh, <laughs> Sandra Hastie, uh, the uh, then girlfriend, the letter wife of the producer of Highway, got in touch and uh, said, I would like to develop your idea for television, and in words that would be familiar to you, but I can in no way pay you. <laughs> um, and he said, yes, because he said, he was a head teacher and used to not being paid. And uh, uh, he said, okay, but on one condition that my son is allowed to write a, a script for it. And she said, I will read your son's script but, and I will give him notes uh, on, it, on the script, but there is no possible circumstance in which we will use that script. Uh, wow. But I, I wrote the script anyway, thinking, oh, my big break has come, I'm going to be ignored by an American producer. <laughs> and uh, I did, and he really liked the script. As it turned out, she was really, really excited by the script. And so I ended up, piece by piece, by the inevitable path of Harry Seacombe and religious broadcasting, uh, <laughs> uh, to become uh, the, the sole writer of Press Gang. So it's your, your dad's idea? Yes, my dad. Yeah. yeah. And did he get... Um, a he paid him nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>